we don't think it's the job of the federal government to tell states how they should spend money. And there's a couple of things wrong with that maintenance of effort. One is it presumes that if you keep spending more money, things just going to get better. <laughs> well, I, I don't know where the evidence for that would come from. So the states need to be allowed to make adjustments to their budget without the federal government telling them uh, what they have to do. There is certainly a, a, an element out there that says you just have to spend more money. The more money you spend, the better you get, although piles and piles of data say that's not so. You've got graphs. We pr usually we have graphs to show how much money we've spent and student achievement and, and, and no. So it makes the, works on the wrong premise. And uh, it, it is a, a huge uh, intercession of the federal government. The states are dealing all the time with uh, their budget requirements. They, most of them are required by their constitutions to have balanced budgets. They need to be able to set their priorities, and, and they need to be able to have the latitude to find better ways to improve education and not just presume that you're going to keep spending more money.